What are we doing today, Tim? We're going back to old Barovia. Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Game Chamber and welcome to a start of our weekend of spooky stuff here for Halloween. As you can probably imagine, Halloween is our favourite holiday of the year and we love to celebrate it however we can here at the Game Chamber. First off, we're doing something really special. Curse of Strahd revamped, released last week, a redo and a beautiful collector's edition version of the original Curse of Strahd, which in turn is a reprint of Ravenloft way back from the start of d &D. As Tim has mentioned in other videos, it is pretty much his favourite campaign of all of D&D. Uh, with the revamped version coming out, we wanted to do something special to celebrate. One of the major parts of Curse of Strahd is the fantastic region of Barovia. So we decided to make a topographical map that could go on the wall and look awesome. Luckily, somebody had already created a vectored image of the map. So we threw it into Corel and did a little bit of cleanup, basically making each level of the topographical map its own plate and then we moved over to the trusty Glowforge to cut all those pieces out. I had a lot of comments recently about the Glowforge asking how we get on with it, whether we like it or not. Honestly, we love the thing. We use it all the time. Uh, it's an absolute workhorse, runs fantastically, very, very few errors, and nine times out of ten the error is a user mess up anyway. <laughs> but it's a really great bit of kit. After about three or four days of uh, laser cutting, we got all the pieces out and then using a printout, we managed to find where all these little tiny pieces went. I think if we were mass producing these or at least making more of them, it probably would have been beneficial to cut the whole thing upside down and use the uh, the engraving feature of the, uh, the Glowforge to carve some numbers into it so that we didn't have to do this process. But as a one-off, it really wasn't that much work. It's kind of like doing a little jigsaw. Worst puzzle ever. <laughs> <laughs> Good job wearing a mask. <laughs> Once all the pieces were in place, they're not glued or anything at this point, we're now going to go and work backwards and take each layer off at a time and give it a coat of paint using the airbrush. The highest layers are going to be black and then we're going to work our way down, adding white each time to get a nice shade of grey gradients all the way down the hills. I'm afraid I don't have actually much footage of the colour going onto the wood. Uh, because I noticed the compressor was doing this and couldn't take my eyes off it. Once all those were painted while they were drying, it was time to work on some of the finishing touches of the build. First of all, we needed a castle Ravenloft itself to be represented on the map, and we decided to do this using a 3D print. So we powered up the Anycubic Photon S and printed a tiny little castle. So we're going to make a tiny little castle. We're going to try and make a tiny little castle. So this is print number three. Four. This would be number four. And so far we've had one success. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, re relative success. Still, still that line, eh? Yeah, I reckon. You won't even need that, to be honest. So you want to you want to cover the bottom at least. That's not really loft. Boom. I reckon that's good, that's oh. the base of the castle. Nice. Ooh. We'll be back in one hour and 19 minutes. Oh no. It is, oh no. <laughs> it is so tiny. Ooh, look at the little. <laughs> it's just perfect. 
a little castle. Oh, you can't see anything. Let's get it out. <laughs> so, Tim's going to show you all how to clean up a resin print. Bring yourself a really hard brush. Uh, so far, I've been using, using Super Clean. Uh huh. Seems to work. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the stuff they all recommend, the proper stuff is the IPA, but that's like really hard to get hold of at the moment, right? Smells so, just take a little swig of that. Smells like detergent. Uh huh. That's cleaner. And there, there should be a tiny little castle. Okay, let's wash it out and, and see. You got a very quick coat of paint, basically some grey paint with some null oil details. And then we need a nameplate for Brovery as well, so it's back to the laser cutter, but this time cutting acrylic. Ooh. <laughs> and we're off. Nice. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Yeah. Everything was ready for the final stage, which was putting it all together. This has turned out really great. It's going to take pride of place in one of our Dungeons and Dragons rooms that are available to hire, which I'm sure people are using to work their way through Barovia as we speak. Thanks for watching. More spooky stuff tomorrow. So keep it here with a subscribe for more from the Game Chamber. I can't tell if I'm looking up or down. You're looking right at the camera. Yeah. What are we doing today, Tim? We're going back to old Bavaria. Barovia. <laughs> take two. <laughs> what are we doing today, Tim? We're going to... <laughs> What are we doing today? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs>